So welcome to the short demonstration on image processing in Creo Parametric, where I want to show you how to create a drawing in Creo using the vision library OpenCV. And for that, I've opened a simple and small sheet metal part here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up one of my Creo applications, which I use to manage my cat data. And I'm going to read this part here. And let's give this a new name of Creo Drawing Image Processing Demo and write this to the part. And I go to my OpenCV tab here and click on Drawing, which is going to start a long line of Creo commands, which I'm not going to go into detail. But I basically want a flat pattern of this sheet metal part here with the corresponding view and orientation. And I'm going to read the size of this part and color all the threaded holes. Then use one of my sheet metal templates to create this drawing here. And I'm going to rescale this drawing here to match a technical drawing scale. And for OpenCV, I'm also going to add a second sheet, which I'm going to call OpenCV. And this is my quote unquote workbench. And I'm going to move one of these views over here and I'm going to detect all the threaded holes. So I'm using OpenCV to detect all the circuits on my screen right now. And then I'm going to click on each of these circuits to bring in the axis for all the threaded holes, which I need. And second, I'm going to need the dimension of one of these threaded holes here. And as soon as I got this, I'm going to scale the view back down to the original scale and move it over to sheet number one. And I can continue with my second view here which again has some thread holes to it. And I'm going to detect all the circles on my screen with OpenCV again, and I'm going to click on these. So one, two, three, four circles, which brings in all the axes for my threaded holes. And here I need the dimensions of these holes as well. And as soon as I got this, I'm going to scale the view back down to original scale and move it over to sheet number one to the original position. And we can move on with the dimensioning now. And first we're going to start with this flat pattern view here and I need the maximum width and maximum height of this flat pattern. And I'm going to use OpenCV to detect the very outer edges of this Creo view here. And then I'm simply going to click on the outer edges and thus creating these two dimensions here, which I'm going to place next to the view here, then scale it back down, rearrange them, clean them up and set to a fixed offset for these dimensions here. So I'm not only playing a lot of Creo trail fights right now. I'm also keeping track of the Creo live session trail because every time I do a click action, I want to make sure that I actually hit an edge. So each time I click on one of these edges here, I'm going to call the Creo trail file or rather the last line of the Creo trail file and make sure that I actually hit one of these edges. And if I didn't hit one, I'm going to repeat the whole click action, but this time with a small offset to the original coordinates. And I'm going to repeat this action over and over until I actually hit one of the edges. Now, right now we're doing dimensioning, whereas before we had um, threaded holes. And there I had to make sure that I only click on feature numbers, which represent a threaded hole. And I can do this by going to the 3D part and read the feature tree. And thus I can know all the feature numbers and feature IDs, which represent threaded holes. But I think OpenCV is done with this first drawing here. And let's see. So I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, hey, this took way too long for such a simple drawing for this part here with only basic dimensions and informations. And you're right, doing this manually would be faster, but the whole image processing and the whole Creo Trafer execution process just takes time. And we can take a look at all the images that OpenCV had to work through over the last minute or so. And what I usually do is um, I let this run overnight. And let's say, for example, I'm finished with one of my projects. Then I'm going to ask OpenCV, hey, please go through my projects and create all the drawings for me, which I need. And the next day I'm going to go into work and I'm going to look at the results. And let's check out this drawing right here. Um, OpenCV also added the font scale of this drawing title. And here we have um, our drawn by, which today's date, and here is my name. And this is my height and width of this view here. And one thing to mention here is that I cannot use the model annotations and go to dimensioning because my projects usually contain hundreds and hundreds of sheet metal parts. And since these parts are all driven by skeletons and subskeletons, and I use external references, 
these dimensions here do not exist in the 3D part. So OpenCV has to create them manually. Okay, let's see. Let's clean up this view here. And I want to export a PDF of this drawing now. So I'm going to bring up my Creo application, then go to production data. And here I'm going to hit export, which is going to pass for a very long list of company specific checks. And if I didn't receive any errors, I'm going to connect to my database, write all the model information to it. Then I receive this PDF here, after that a DXF. And most importantly is a step file of this 3D part here. Okay, so we're basically done with our Creo drawing here. But I do want to go back to my um, Creo drawing because I want to show what I mean by these checks. Um, let's go to this view here and you can see that OpenCV counted two M6 threaded holes here and three M8 threaded holes in this view. And I'm going to deliberately provoke an error here. Let's say, let's go to the suffix here and I'm going to change this to times four instead of three. And let's go back to my application and read this part here. And you can see a small preview of our PDF, which we just created and hit export once again. And yes, I do want to override all the production data, uh, but this time we receive an error. So why is that? Because first we are going to count all the thread holes in the 3D part. And after that, I'm going to count all the dimensions for thread holes on the Creo drawing. And since these two lists do not match, I have to correct my error first, and then I can continue exporting my production data. Okay. But this was a very simple use case for image processing in Creo Parametric. And I think I have also a second part open here. Let me check. Okay, and this one is a sheet metal part as well. And I can read this part, then I click again on OpenCV and drawing. And this is going to start the whole process over again.